you guys welcome back to our channel today you are going to be checking out this application called kpn tunnel rev before proceeding i want to emphasize that this video is for educational purposes only we shall not be held responsible for any misuse of the provided content the kpn tunnel rev is a free vpn application which you can find on the play store it comes with a few different connection methods which includes direct proxy direct ssl http proxy ssl proxy and ssl proxy plus http proxy for this video tutorial i'm only going to show you how to create a file using the direct ssl or using the direct ssl with a proxy so without wasting any more of your time let's begin so the first method is to get an ssh server as you can see this application doesn't come with any ssh server it doesn't come with anything you have to create everything yourself in order to get our ssh server and our payload we are going to go to our browser and go to SS, ssh ocean just search for ssh ocean on your browser and then select the first select services if you are using your mobile device the method will be different you have to select this one over here after selecting that then you will see the services then select services so let's proceed so let's go ahead and select services here after selecting service you are going to choose our connection method the kpn tunnel rev application allows you to use the ssh web socket in order to connect to the internet so Let's go ahead and select that method you can also try the other methods except for udp and slow dns since those ones won't work on that application now let's go ahead and select ssh websocket after selecting ssh websocket you are going to just scroll down and select any of the provided server it doesn't have to be your exit country it's just a server which you're going to be connected to so let's go ahead and select our saver so the saver which we are going to select here is the first one now let's make sure that our saver has available accounts to create from and we must make sure that it is online if your saver is not online and it doesn't have remaining accounts to create from do not select it it won't allow you to create an account from it so let's go ahead and select this one since it has eight remaining accounts and it's also online so let's go ahead and create an account from this one after that let's go ahead and scroll down then we are going to put a username and a password of our choice so for our username let's just put any username and let's put any password after that let's go ahead and sell, verify that we are not a robot and then after verifying click on create now now let's go down again after scrolling down you can see that it says account has been successfully created now what you have to do is to scroll down and copy the first payload don't copy the second one just copy the first payload so let's go ahead and just select here then your payload will be copied to your clipboard now before going back to the kpn tunnel rev application and creating the file we also need an sni pack host to get your sni pack host go to your browser and search for covnet After searching for Covnet, you are going to select the first one over here. Now you are going to use the search and search for SNI. If you are using your mobile phone, you will find the search icon over here. Just select the search icon and then search for SNI. After searching for SNI, select this one which says SNI per cost generator. now go ahead and scroll down then select where it says select a country then choose your country make sure you select your exact country here since sni for other countries may not work for your country so select your exact country 
after selecting your exit country go ahead and click on generate then copy one of the provided SNIs so let's go ahead and copy one of the provided SNIs Now that our SNI has been copied, we can now go back to our application and start creating our file. The first thing we're going to do is to configure our SNI. So to do that, just click on this icon. Then now that we are on the settings field, we are going to make sure that this one is selected. So select here. After selecting here, select SSH tunnel now we're going to paste our sni back host where it says host forward slash ip so let's go ahead and paste the copied sni back host then click on ok now here we need our username and the password to get your username and password all you have to do is to go back to the ssh ocean website where you've created your ss where you have created your SSH server, then you're going to copy your username. So let's go ahead and copy our username. Then let's, after copying our username, let's go back to our mobile phone and paste our username over here. Now click on OK after pasting your username. Our password was just one, two, three, four, five. So let's just do that. You can verify your password by going back to the application and making sure that your password is correct. One, two, three, four. So let's make sure that our password is correct. Now that our SNI back host username and password has been filled in, let's go back, back again. Now we are going to choose our connection method. Remember at the beginning of this video, I told you that I will show you how to create the file using a direct SSL and SSL proxy. So let's go ahead and start with our direct SSL. So select direct SSL. Now you will need two things here. First, you will need your payload, then you will need your snoop saver. So let's go ahead and copy our payload from the website. Remember, I told you to copy the first payload. So let's go ahead and copy this one, then go back to our application. On our application, just paste your payload over here. After pasting your payload, go ahead and click on next. Done. All you have to do is to copy your server name from your payload and paste it here. That's all you have to do. So let's go ahead and copy our server name here. This will be your server name here. So after host, just copy this one. Then let's go ahead and paste it here. So paste it here. After that, click on next, then done. All you have to do is to click on start. So let's click on start. Click on OK. Then just wait for a little bit. As you can see, the key here means that we are connected. If you select this icon over here, you will be able to see a log. And you, as you can see, it says entering event loop. If it says this, that means you are connected. Now. That means you are connected. That's how you can create the file using the direct SSL method. Now let's use the proxy method. Just stop this one and then change the connection method. So let's change the connection method to the SSL proxy. Just select this one. Then as you can see, the other stuff are already filled in for you. You don't have to fill them up again. The only thing which is new is the remote proxy. Creating a remote proxy is very simple. All you need is your SNI backhost. So to do that, just go back to your settings and copy the SNI backhost which you have pasted there. Go ahead and copy our SNI backhost. After copying our SNI backhost, let's go ahead and go back. 
Now we're going to paste our SNI barcodes here. Now after pasting your SNI barcodes, just select here and select this one over here. Now put on your port. We're going to be using port 443, so just say 443 and then say add. Now what you need here is your username. So let's go ahead and paste our username. Let's let's paste our username. This is our username. So let's go ahead and paste it here. After pasting your username, go ahead and put this again. Then put your password. So let's go ahead and put our password. That's all you need to do. After that, click on next. Then click on next. Then you will be done. After that, you can now click on start. As you can see, the key here means we are connected. And if you click on the log, you will be able to see it says entering loop event. That's how you can create your very own KPN tunnel file in 2024. If you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to comment them below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss our upcoming videos. Until then, take care and peace.